Ever wonder what things will look like if Naruto was a girl? In this video, I got an excuse. This is a new series I'm starting. I don't have a name for it yet. I am taking reality and combining it with fiction. In this video, I am crossing a YouTuber and influencer named Exactly E with her favorite character from the Naruto series, Naruto. Why? Because I had the idea of doing this a long time ago and I saw a live where she wanted her drawing as Naruto in the first place. So I give you Esora Uzumaki. Esora Uzumaki is pretty much the same as Naruto with slight differences. Serious temper, but gets quiet instead of loud and is a bit more of a prodigy. Knows chakra control a lot better and even starts using it a lot earlier to increase the effects of her taijutsu. But still goes through a lot of the same process as Naruto. Parents died trying to pass the nine tail fox into her. Village hates her as the number one goal of becoming Hokage, which sets all of this shit in motion. Instead of because everyone, you know, too scared to train her, too scared to let her talent be seen of having good chakra control, she starts learning her own version of chakra control. Figures it out by watching other people and then just starts practicing it and implementing it into her own fighting style. Fight Zabuza and Haku. They have the same. The only difference is Naruto's a girl. And Naruto, uh, in this case, Esora loses it when Sasuke's female character almost dies. Now you're into the tuning exams. During the tuning exams, pretty much the same things happen. Bill fights Kiba, ends up taking on Neji. Neji's still a dude, by the way. But, in this case, Asora still wins, but instead of just winning and going about her merry way, won, and then wanted to continue furthering her own personal taijutsu to train her to better control her chakra for different types of uh, attacks and blows and effects and all of that great stuff. After going through all of that, still fights Gara, goes on with Jiraiya to learn the Rasengan. Learns it a lot quicker than, no, than Naruto and then starts mastering how to use multiple ones at one time. Nade, because we all know at this point, it's just getting real. Nade gives her tips on how to better control and use her chakra when fighting and how to use minimal amounts for bigger impacts and also learning how to use it to heal. While at the same time, gradually taking shots at Kurama, AKA the Nine-Tail Fox, to try and develop a closer bond because once it found out it was there, AKA snapped at Zabuza, started trying to figure out how to understand it and not just control it, but understand the entity behind the chakra. Of course, Nine-Tails wasn't having that yet. He ended up scrapping with Sasuke. We all know how that but turns out. Now it's all, all out run to get Sasuke back. Asora testing her her version of Taijutsu fights Kimi Madu along with Rock Lee until Gara gets there and then basically uses more chakra because of course the fox has a bit more respect for it at this point to basically get to that one tail stage level and chases after Sasuke to catch up to him. Still has the same epic fight, still ends the same way. Takes you right into Jiraiya training, Asora, in this case, to use more of that chakra. And seeing how far it can go before loses our mind. Time they come back from all of this, of course she's a teenager now, just like everyone else, but is about six feet tall, which was a huge growth spurt, <laughs> considering everything they were going through. Comes back, able to control four tails until losing control because of course already had previous relationships with it. Karama's still holding back and trying to possess her to, you know, let him out. So only gives her about four tails before he's like, yeah, no, I still want out. Also, forgot to mention one very important part. You should like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Hit the notification bell. Keep coming back for more of this series, more Mogum Nights, and more of other things I got coming down the line. And he not as a boy. Inataro, that, that's what I'm calling him. After coming back, finds out about every, the Jinchuriki being attacked. Instead of just waiting, they go find and trying to find other Jinchuriki outside of Gar to try and help them fight off the Akatsuki. Him, while Pain is looking for him, yeah, we all know that awesome, awesome arc. Go train in the Toe Mountains, 
with Toad, the Toad Sage's peoples, where he learns, where she, in this case, Asora, learns about nature chakra, sage jutsu, tokumate, and all that good stuff. Comes back to the village, scraps it out with pain, loses control with her new level of chakra at five tails. No, loses her chakra at six tails because six. Much more dangerous, a lot more power being released, much closer to be actually becoming the nine tailed fox. In this case, in getting herself under control, it was under her own will. Father didn't show up, mama didn't show up. You know about all the stuff in between that. And just before they hide Esora, starts wanting to know more about Karama. Having more conversations with him, blah, 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 blah. Of course, he's giving her the hard chest. And to the, the basically like that tail beast temple thing. You know what I'm talking about. It's a sword meditates and gets to talk to Karama. And then they got to scrap it out, basically, to get control of, of Karama's chakra. Sins won't listen. She does that. But then, like, tries to learn, like, takes more time to actually learn his story. And he actually tells her and he breaks it down his shell a little bit. And then she leaves and saying, of course, you know who said this part. I'm coming back to heal your wounds. Quote, goes into the Great Ninja War. All that epic stuff happens, right? And when Rama and Asura finally decide, like, yo, you, you my, my man is 100 grand, meets both the parents. And then right after meeting both of the parents, sees Pop in that resurrected form. Yeah, 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 that's a thing. And also... Still, Uncle B is Uncle B. You know, Killer B is still like big bro. Goes through all that epicness, because we all know how that is. Still is the is the reincarnated form of Asura. Sasuke's character that I haven't finished that I haven't finished designing yet is Indra. If I'm not wrong, that's that's how the reincarnation goes. If I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments. This was a challenge for me to try and get a Naruto tweak with exactly E, because she's a girl and he's a dude. So like trying to find a way to have her face show up but still kind of resemble the Naruto-ish drawing illustration style but like putting my own like steel on it. It was fun. Definitely a challenge though. Learned a lot. Gets to the most epic fight scene ever between those two at the end of the series. Pretty much ends the same way. And there you have it, Sora Uzumaki. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you want to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. But more importantly, drop some people in real life, celebrities or YouTube influencers that inspire you that you would like to see combined with certain anime characters or characters that they like themselves. But for now, I will see you in the next video. Peace, love, and blessings.